The coronavirus put a devastating stop to tourism and forced people into home quarantine. The tiny country called the Faroe Islands had to ask tourists not to visit. But instead of no tourism, we invented remote tourism, so people could stay at home and visit the Faroe Islands. When people pressed forward, we moved forward. When they pressed turn, we turned. And when people pressed jump, well, we jumped. As a virtual tourist, you could ride, sail, and even remote control a helicopter. So you could literally sit anywhere in the world and control a helicopter in the Faroe Islands. Each trip began at a new location, outside or inside, and gave people a chance to meet the locals. The remote tourists had total control. I can't run forward, unfortunately. Almost. Okay, I see what you're trying to do. That would mean that we would be jumping into the ocean. According to Associated Press, it became the biggest tourism news story in the world. You can visit from home. More than 500 news articles. created this new remote tourism tool there. With an online readership of 5 billion. Tourism. The travel influencers who had nowhere else to go, I'm about to go to the Faroe Islands. helped us reach 40 million followers on social media. All with a total media budget of zero. During the quarantine, 700,000 took a virtual trip to the Faroe Islands, five times the number in all of 2019. At a time when no one could travel, the Faroe Islands had more visitors than ever.